Hello everybody and welcome to a very late podcast. This yeah. is Podcast 07, created in 2010. 2010, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, I am, uh, I'm of course FDA. And I am Torch from FunComputerRoom.com. And yeah, our last podcast was about... A year ago. A year ago. Our last, our last <laughs> one, our last podcast, we were talking about SOS 08 and that was pr- almost... <laughs> Almost two years ago. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> two years ago. <laughs> yeah, roughly. Jesus, man. Year and a half. Year and a half. half. Um, but yeah, we're here to talk to you again about this. And uh, like previous times, we're going to break it down into site news, Sonic World, and upcoming. So in terms of site news, as usual, Mikey boy, we will take over to you because you're mm-hmm. the uh, tech techno guy. In and this as, group. as usual, since I keep so in track with the Sonic world these days, I'm going to be asking all the stupid questions. What? what why is the hedgehog blue for? What's that about? I don't know. It makes no sense. It makes no sense, fool. Away to you, boy. Okay, site news. While it may not look like we've actually got much in the way of uh, development... Penises. Mm, as a uh, <laughs> new site uh, development goes, we have now assembled a crack team of experts to help us... Uh, crack being the main word, because that's what we're paying them in. I said... Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, we are making progress. We are about to start putting in some tabs, and hopefully, within the next few months, get the news and homepage up and running to start off with. Yeah, uh, it's essentially, we, we um, have just laid out how many different tabs and, and, and each subsections that will be required in those tabs. Um, in, in terms of the design, we're in talks with uh, Black Hawk Omega and Scar Tillery, um, who's been going to be designing it, and we're, we're major help. we've had major help from uh, Ryo Chan 7 to use his um, online handle, mm-hmm. who helped me greatly in the RSS feeds of both FTCR and my other site, who I won't name, because Michael gets annoyed when I do. And he's also <laughs> helping us um, do a lot of coding, so it's really thanks to those guys. And we're going to be working to get a, a design of a, a, a universal design for the site, and then we can just start coding and putting stuff up and yada 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 yada. So yes, hopefully, I know we've said this for the last two years, but by SOS this year, by God, <laughs> we'll have a site off. <laughs> But I, I, I like those last two years. It's actually perfectly feasible that we will have a site up by then. Well, at least some form of site that people can look at for news and actually there's something there for a change. Exactly. Yeah. Um, this, actually, this is something that I was going to speak to Michael about, which I may as well bring it up now. Why not? Um, on on some rough designs, our good friend Travis, he, he uh, showed us what the videos could look like. I believe he was using an actual video codec which could be implemented into the site however do you want us to house our own video codec on the site or embed from blip it would make more sense to embed from blip mainly to save on the bandwidth of the actual site because blip has got its own set of bandwidth and then when people are actually accessing the videos they won't be accessing it through our server they'll be accessing it through the blip servers and because blip is a multinational and well a big corporation, they can afford to have the really large bandwidth, so it's, well, it's more than likely that the videos will actually appear faster it, if they're embedded from Blip rather than installing them ourselves. Kind of, yeah, it, it's what the um, the uh, critic uses, the nostalgia critic, and mm. he gets like a million views a month and all that. Um, I, I personally have found that um, streaming a video from the critic, which he uses Blip, is, is gen- generally slower than YouTube. But I would imagine that would still be faster than if we were to embed it ourselves on our own server. Sure. When we actually create the site, we can run a few tests. So we'll try ones from YouTube, try ones from Blip, and try our own just to see which, well, uh, which is faster. Blip normally I think has a better picture quality, and also YouTube just keeps messing people around. That's why that's why N Tom's leaving YouTube. You know, he had, he had he had a good cry for a week, and now he's gonna. Have his own site. Okay, fair enough. But we can uh, experiment with the different ones available. Yep. Um, is there anything else to say about what we're going to have on on the site? Not really. Um, other than if anybody who's um, listening to this and who has not yet contacted me regarding uh, site development, please do. You can uh, contact me or FTA. Probably best FTA because he's always on the forum. I'm not <laughs> through the forums. Well, what's your uh, is, isn't it? 
if they email torch at fundedinfuturing.com they'll go I to see. That again, yeah. That's like two years, you haven't quite rented that up. Yeah, I know, but uh, for some reason it kept getting loads of spam through, so I just shut it off. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Um, but yeah, okay. If you want, just email or just go go on the forum or PM me or PM Torch because I imagine mm. he, you know he would, he would get that. But anyone who has quite an, and I, I don't have, we're not gonna have anything too fancy that would cause you know a, a cold as nightmare, would it? No, I don't think so. Um, as I said in the previous recruitment videos, we're trying to get some PHP and SQL going, but and, and some LSD. <laughs> No, but um, how helps me work? <laughs> I'm sure it does, but um, no, it's not going to be too complicated. I mean, there's still a lot of HTML work, basic HTML work, a lot of CSS. Um, yeah, so cool. Um, Anyone that's interested, I mean, more artists would be good as well. Um, the more the merrier. If you know what they say, the more the merrier. Um. Moving on to the Sonic World and jeez man, there's so much, so much has happened since that because I think our last one was us talking about what we wanted Unleashed to be like. Mm. So essentially, we have to now talk about Unleashed Black Knight, um, and I guess we can try and touch upon Sega Superstars, so Sonic and Sega All Stars Race. Now, in terms of Unleashed, have you played Unleashed, good sir? I have briefly. Your, your thoughts on said game? I liked it. It was, um, yeah, a long time ago when I played it. <laughs> Did you play day or night? Day, I think. It was just, I think it was just the one level briefly that I was able to actually have a go on. It very, very fast, very action-paced. Um, took a while to get used to because it seemed to run a lot faster than the um, older style. CGI games. I actually, I actually had that. I actually did the first time I, I played Unleashed. I was expecting to handle like SA1, which is yeah. what most, yeah, most games what. play like, and it didn't. And that threw me at first. It took me a while to get used to how mm. it how it plays. Because um, and this is mainly on on the Wii version. He um he, he in, in in my experience in the game, he has trouble turning around. Like you do it, but it's very sluggish on the Wii version. 360, yeah. he, he does it fine. On the Wii version, like the turn around takes a couple of seconds. It's like that's that's a bit too slow. Mm. You're too slow. <laughs> um, but again, um, in, to kind of bring up again what everything I, I echoed during the um, Hellfire Comes play for a bit. I like the list. Um, you know, I, pretty much all the reviews were like, you know, day stages are awesome, night stages are terrible. What the hell, we're hot, gay. Uh. <laughs> um, I didn't mind the way hot. I thought, I thought. Um, it, it was, you know, very beat em up, um, in, inspired. Which I, I would say, I've, I've said, I, I've always thought Knuckles should have had that style of gameplay from from SA1. You know, I think the treasure yeah. finding was fine, but and again, um, a few people have said this: if the game would have been called like Sonic and Knuckles 2, if you if you were just to change the story around and put Knuckles in place of the Werehog, I guarantee you, most of the of the criticism would have just gone because like mm. this Knuckles being cool again, which I mean, you know, I still think. Knuckles has been, hasn't been used well since SA1, um, but I like the, the the problem I had was that it wasn't so much in my in my view there wasn't so much there was a problem with the Werehog. It was his levels like some of the levels were just dull, um, and also just to explain to to Mikey boy you know the um, the the 360 PS3 version and then there's the Wii PS2 version both like, based on the same thing but pretty different. So like uh, um, the 360 version has two whole new continents in it. Because of course the, the game was that Eggman, you know, have, have, have you seen the opening? Yeah. yeah you know, he, he shoots that laser, breaks the water, the continents all drifted, Sonic has to go around to these seven uh, Gaia temples to restore the power of the KSA yep, world yep, and yep, yep, walk yep. back together. Um, uh, the 360 version that has two new continents, which adds nothing really to the story, it's just the, the more levels. Extra gameplay. Yeah, um, mm. although t t technically the Wii version has more levels because uh, in 360, it's one it's one day or one night stage per continent. On the, on the weird version, it's like one day and sometimes three, four, or five world levels per continent. Which it's it. There's pros and cons. Are they, are they shorter or not really? Um, it, it, there's pros and cons. There's it's pro in the fact that you are getting a lot more levels mm. for your money. 
con in if you're a fan that doesn't like the Werehog levels. And also, to be fair, just the, the fact that there's so many Werehog levels, a lot, a lot of the Werehog levels play like this. You, you start off, you, you, you run around, you, you find yourself in a room, then, you know, the invisible barrier gimmick comes up, which I can't stand in games, mm. and you're forced to defeat 15, 15, you know, 20 enemies to progress, you know, uh, you know, do that four times, find, find like a, a statue, put it on a button, go through a door, fight a boss, end of level. Mm. But that, that being said, some of the warehouse levels on the way, because I haven't finished the 360 version yet, you know, on the way, some of the warehouse levels are genius. Like there's one where you have to spend the entire level um, going up, a, going up a waterfall, and that's just platforming at its most genius. And also in um in Eggman Land at the warehouse level, the the second to last warehouse stage is entirely in 2D. Cool. You basically, it's basically it, it's it's still in 3D, but like the the perspective is like like you're playing Green Hill Zone. You just go from yeah. left to right. Oh, I love and that, that was awesome to play, man. That was so much fun to play that level. I mean, admittedly. It could have done with a few less Werehog levels, or to having said that, um, making it more varied. You mm. know, uh, in terms of that, you know, um, if you make it completely varied, then you've got pretty much practically different games for the different consoles. Uh, Technically, you know, well, with the <laughs> pretty much because level design, no two levels are like, um, say, if you take say rooftop run day, rooftop run day, 360 Wii, different. Mm. The, the, only, the only thing it shares are its story, music, characters, and the base, the, the, you know, the, the levels kind of look similar, like similar themes. So like, um, Cool Edge is, is sitting here, and is uh, based on the Antar Antarctic, so there's snow everywhere. Mm. But no two levels really play the same. Like, yeah. even, even some of the bosses have been changed. Like, the, the, uh, the, the, um... It's making it difficult for walkthroughs for different consoles, but fair enough. Yeah, um... But uh, you know, I like Unleashed. Um, have you have you heard? You must have heard that in the uh, in the uh, opening cutscene, there's that they, they actually bring in the uh, Japanese, the Tokyo Philharmonic Orchestra. It's the first time in a Sonic game that it's been uh, like a hundred piece orchestra for the, for the music. And that music, you know, um, this this is it's, it's kind of bad for Mike because Mike doesn't play these games. So this is going to be just me speaking for the next however long I can be. That's okay. I'll, I'll find some questions to ask you. <laughs> yeah. Um, in terms of the music, a lot of people were like, you know, oh, finally they've stopped having rock music because uh, I've quite a few critics just can't stand June Sonoy and Crush 40 and the rock music. They find it cheesy and lame. You know, I, to be honest with you, I, I can kind of see certain songs like Sonic Heroes is about to that the gayest song yes. of all, of all yes, time. Definitely. It's 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 got a a level of cheese factor. Stop you from seeing it every five minutes. It, it's got it's got a level of cheese that I don't know why, but I just it's infectious because it's infectious because I was I was going on a, on a road trip last summer and on the way up that I was driving and Sonic Heroes came on and everyone in the car was like, "What the hell is this crap?" Turn off like, "No hell not, man." It's, it's, <laughs> actually, because we we were we were going to Brighton, which is um, you know labelled as, as the gay capital of England, so I made a CD of the gayest songs I could find and of course Sonic Heroes was on that CD. And what did you do while you were inviting Gareth? Uh, what? We could do, we should know the power of for that buddy boy, alright? I had sex with men. Um, but essentially one of my problems I have with Unleashed is that um, they, they brought in the, this orchestra to do like the, the opening cutscene and a few pieces here and there but all the level music is, is synthesised mm. and it's really bad synthesised music. Like, like, like the, the, the um, Melody sound fine, but the quality of the instruments because it's fake. It, they sound so bad. It's it's mm. it's it's embarrassing. Um. You know, I wasn't I wasn't you know I had nothing to do with it with the production of this game or the music. Yeah. But I was I was embarrassed. I listened to it. Mm. Um, I'll go into it in a second. But but likewise, Sonic and the Black Knight, which uh, was the first game that June Sinoy had been sound director for since Shadow in 2005. So it was a three-year gap, four-year gap, three-year gap, whatever how long the gap was. And that game uses a synthesized orchestra, but it sounds realistic. It sounds awesome. Yeah. Um, but at least you know, I, I like you know, of of at least seems to be one of the most um, polarized games in the fan base. You get a lot of people who love it, the best game ever. You get a lot of fans who like worst game ever, terrible game. No one, no one it. just is like yeah, it's alright. Well, I'm I'm in the middle. I yeah. think it's a good game. I give it seven point five out of ten. Mm. There, there's good things in it, but it's not. It's it's ultimately it's 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 not perfect. Um, I had a point in my head I was gonna say, but I can't remember what the hell it was gonna be. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, a, a lot of people. It's it, it's it's hands down. No matter no matter what you say about 
a lot, a lot of the problems in that game come from stylistic choices of gameplay. Mm. So like the Werehog, um, like uh, realistically, it's the best mates on a game. Like, mm. like you know, there's been previous games, especially something like Shadow or Shadow or Heroes, where if if you try and do like the the light speed dash near a cliff, you're gonna die. You know, mm. if you if you try and, and do the homing attack over like a bottomless pit, chances are you'll miss and fall down. In, in Sonic Unleashed, if you die, it's 99.999% likely to be your fault. Very few glitches. Mm. It's it's the most polished of the games. Like the, uh, it's one of the only games in the fan base where the uh, the cutscenes don't look laughable, yeah. where they actually move realistically. Well, it's one of the only games in the franchise where, where the dialogue isn't completely laughable. It's actually quite funny. I guess At that least. means we're going too. Oh jeez, well, seriously, who wrote that crap? <laughs> we're on our way to the Ark. I guess that means we're going too. The editors should be slapped. The, the, the Griffin, like, how did Griffin like, notice that? Like, excuse me, mate. Just, stop, mm-hmm. stop just read the line, Jason. Sharp. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, Unleashed was was a pretty good game. And then after that, of course, we got uh, we came Black Knight, which is probably my favourite 3D Sonic game since SA One. I love Black Knight. Was, uh, a lot of people were like, "He's got a sword for why?" <laughs> as as you can tell, there was a lot of. <laughs> Coming from the Sonic Sonic Man race, just like a lot, a lot of what? Of, oh, okay. You, do you remember how when um, Shadow first came out and everyone was like, you know, he's the world's ultimate life form. Why does he need guns for? <laughs> um, I think we've got a new uh, catchphrase for this. Yeah. Catch- oh, yeah. It's 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 very similar to the sound that a, a dying giraffe makes. <laughs> 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 you do with that. It sounds like a driver dying over there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but the the uh, the director of, of the game, who was actually the, the lead programmer for SA1, SA2 and Heroes, had said that ev- even from the, the Mega Drive um, games, something he, he'd always wanted to see was um, Sonic with a sword. Yeah. Which to me, I think I think it, it, it works. I mean, again, I again I loved it. Mm. I thought it was. Um, also, awesome game. Um, it it, it designed very. It, it did go against the Sonic never use weapons sort of kind mentality. Of, but but, but um, in terms of story, there's there, there's a few things. Again, I would say that Black Knight is, is the best written game since SL1 because it, it, there's a few things where you really see Sonic's character, like the bit where basically the basic plot is in the storyboard world of of um, King Arthur. King Arthur has has grown corrupt, and he's he's um is like he, he's ruling. Camelot with an iron fist, and um, the game starts with a character called Melina, who you, you later find out is the um, the royal wizard. He's been, he's been chased by um, King Arthur, and King Arthur uses this sword to, to cut open. The, basically, he slices the sky into the underworld, and then a bunch of demons come out and are about to attack this woman. She um, a lot of demons falling from the sky. I've heard that before. So. <laughs> no, no, that's aliens. Completely different. Ah, right. demons um, and aliens. Right. Demons and aliens. Um, completely different. And she, she, um, oh yeah, it is completely different because it fits in this story. Okay. It's the aliens in Shadow, which is bad. Um, you were created from my blood. Um, and then she calls a spell. Sonic comes down, starts bitch slapping people, and everything. And and the story basically kicks off um, from there. And and later on, basically, uh, Melina tells Sonic. That you know, basically, he has to kill the king, and Sonic's reaction is just okay. Then I guess I can't be the hero every time. And this is something I like: is the fact that he is so, something that looks. I guess in 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 Sonic's eyes, the end kind of justifies the means, because he has no problem. Like you get, and, and there's actually okay. a spoiler. I say spoiler alert: the game is split in into two halves. Really, if you haven't played the game and don't want to find out what happens. Uh, go away now. Okay, okay. <laughs> Essentially, um, King Arthur. The King Arthur is, is an illusion. At the end of the first half, you actually see Sonic slice him in half, which uh, it is. It, it's badass, man. And I, I, I just like it because it's 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 something like you would never see Mario slicing someone in half. Quick, quick question though. Um, when you say Sonic was just told, "Oh, we got to kill the king," and he goes, "Oh, okay, I guess I can't be the good guy every time." Does he get so, any sort of context before he goes? You know what? I want you to go and kill the king. Well, no, so, he, oh, okay. No, then. When, he, oh, when he 
when when he lands in when he lands, he kind of sees like all the demons and and the knight himself. Ah, right. About you know, because ba basically, um, about, about, about to murder this woman. Mm. So him being you know, he smacks down all, all the all the, all the demons. He's, he's about to attack the knight. Mm. Alina stops him, mm. and then she's basically explaining the thing that the twist is, is that that again, spoiler alert, go away. Um, the twist is that, that is that that King Arthur is an illusion, yeah. and and the real villain is, is Melina, right, which okay. I thought was an awesome plot twist. Mm. And basically, she's going to. So this this is where you, even I get confused. She plans to make the fairy tale world last forever, and for some reason that involves making a giant hole in the sky that sucks things up. Even I'm confused right. at this point. Essentially, and and, and Sonic, so Sonic basically, obviously, uh, the the defeats her, and uh, he goes like he, he says lines like um, a world that goes on forever. That's lame. Hmm. I wonder if it was sort of like reversed. And imagine it's at AM, Sonic just comes out of the sky and he sees all these little knot hole creatures trying to beat up robots. Does he save the robots and then go and goes into try and destroy knot hole because the robot was being picked on? Or I, I can't see a scenario where that would ever happen in AM. Because they they always ran away from the robots. It'd, it'd be interesting. Though. Be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> well, because because well, you know, technically, if you want to get technical, in Saturday only freedom fighters are terrorists. Because Robotnik is the established government, and they're trying to overthrow him. Mm, they they are terrorists. Sonic is worse than Bin Laden. That's right. I said it. No comment. <laughs> um. Yeah, so that's that's uh, again, I love Black Knight. Story was awesome. Um, the music, June Tsunami, no, Crash Four is not of the wind. But one of my favorite songs, just awesome to the match. Mm. You must have heard of the Night of the Wind, haven't you? Must have heard of what? Night of the Wind. Yeah. Thoughts? Um, again, liked it. Um, okay, honestly, heard of, never played, never. No, 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 forget, forget the game, just, just the song. What did, what, what did you think of the song? I guess because I've not actually played the game, I can't really appreciate it as much. Just because, you know, I'm still firmly engaged in Shadow because it was the last game I probably completed. <laughs> um, any, any game I hear now, it seems sort of hollow without actually going through the game and playing it yourself. Do you know, you sort of get that association with the game and with the song when you're actually playing along and kicking ass while listening to the mu listening to the song, you know? Yeah. Well, what do you think? No, no, I love that. I mean, it's, it's one of my favourite songs. Just, mm. you know, there are there are certain songs that, are, that you know, say like Crash 40, I've made all games within the songs that I can see. Like, that's one of my favourite songs. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, in, in the context of, of, the, of Sonic music. So say for example, um, f f follow me. The uh, Team Rose's theme from Heroes. You know, in in the context of, of Sonic songs, I, lo I love that song. Hmm. In the context of all music everywhere, I, I probably wouldn't even come close to being one, one, one of my favorite songs. But not the wind. Like it's, it's just one of my favorite songs, just of all time. It's an awesome, awesome song. Uh -huh. um, Have we actually talked about Chronicles properly since it's been released? Because I think the last in the last time we actually just. Had finished reviewing it for SOS 08. Um, I can't remember if it, because in SOS 08 it was there. It was there as like a preview. But yeah, oh, good point. Yeah, of course. Jesus Chronicles, incredibly average game. Hmm. Incredibly average game. Music, some of the worst music you will ever hear in your life. It's it's like a Sonic Ross Adventure, which which admittedly came out a little while after. After uh, Chronicles uh, uses a synthesized score, which ironically, that synthesized score sounds better than the synthesized score in Unleashed. But um, <laughs> it just kind of showed like the power of, of what the DS can handle. Mm. The the music in Chronicles, with the exception of, of a few tracks, the music in Chronicles um, sounds like poorly made NES music. Mm. Um, battle system, it's 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 kind of it's kind of fun to play. Um, story. Nothing special. Like everyone was like, "Ah, oh, the story's going to be awesome." You know, that's going to reinvent the franchise. Not really. Um, again, it, so they, was it? I mean, I think when we were in the last podcast, it was like we think it's pretty much Final Fantasy Sonic, Sonic if that like. I've Is never, it, I was never like, really played Final Fantasy. Um, can't or remember. like Zelda, Sonic if I like then. But uh, not really. It, I mean, it, 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 it's clearly a, a unique game. You know, it's yeah. it's. 
it's it, it's up there. It's up there with um, battle and shuffle, I guess, in terms of like truly unique um, sort of games. It's not really like the worst average game hmm. at, at best, you know. Uh, one one thing I did like though, which every I may be alone in this. Everyone else in the franchise hated this. The final fight is is uh, between uh, again spoiler alert. If you want to hear, go away. Um, the final fight is between um, Supersonic and like the, the boss of the game. I can't remember what his name is, but he he gets like um super fight as well, right? And you can seriously de defeat him in about twenty seconds. <laughs> no, I like I like for me I like that just for what because it's the first time you actually see, which I think should happen more often, which is Supersonic just beat the shit out of something, <laughs> which you know like. With, with the with, with the exception of, of Hypersonic, which may or may not become canon anymore, since she hasn't appeared since uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, Supersonic probably is the most powerful being. And if, if we if we take away Super Shadow and Silver Frost, I can just focus on Sonic. If, Supersonic probably is the most powerful being in, in, the, in the universe because he defeats everything. You know, that's yeah. what's been able, canon canonly. You know, not not, not not if you fail at a, a boss, but canonly, nothing has been able to beat. And except for of course Knuckles and Sonic 3. Go Knuckles. Um so he really oh, Sonic. Oh, so <laughs> he, he really is like the, the um uh most powerful thing in the universe and so he he, he beats the crap out of this thing in like twenty seconds. Sweet. Which again, a lot of people a lot of people didn't like it for that. I, I thought it was awesome. But again, um kinda of average game, nothing nothing too special. Winter Olympics? I haven't played it. No, I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Sonic and Sega also has a race. I bought it the day it came out because uh, we, we, we tested it at SOS online. I thought mm. it was pretty good. Um, I've never. I, I actually think Mario Kart Wii is a pretty, pretty piss poor game. So um, I'm hoping this to be good. I bought it the day it came out, which at this point in time is probably about a month and a half ago, and it is still in the wrapper. Which, which isn't an indictment or just the fact that I think the game is bad or I don't want to play it and I just haven't had the time. To sit down and play a play a game. Yeah, it's just I'm hoping all the reviews like all. This has been one of the only games in which pretty much all, all the fans online are okay. It's awesome. It's awesome because every now and then, like at least you hear like it's awesome. It's awesome. Then oh, it's, it's crap. It's crap. You know, yeah. but Black Knight. You know, it's just mm. me and my own going. It's awesome. Everyone else in the world's going. It's crap. It's crap. And I'm like up yours. It's game rules. You know, yeah. um, all star all star racing. You know, I I, I haven't found a review yet. That says it's rubbish. Yeah, so you know, they, they, mm. there's a few people that, that are like, you know, it's not as good as Mario Kart, you know, or, or could have been a, a bit better. But I, I, I have yet to find the one review that actually just has them says yeah. it, it, it's crap. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, I'll be the first person to admit that I've not had time to play any games for too long. But there is one game I'm going to make way for when it comes out. What's that? Sonic Four. Sonic 4. Oh, oh yes, let's move on to that little gem. Um, of course, I uh, announced ages ago with a uh, teaser trailer saying uh, the original 2D speedster returns with an original game built up from the ground up, and then it showed a silhouetted image that a lot of people, you know, it looked like the original Sonic 1 logo design. For months and months, people were like, what the hell is this? What the hell is this? And it was. There was even some talk that it may not be a Sonic game. There were some, pe some people would say there's a very about Mr. Needle Maps. There's there's a very famous um, picture where that they revealed what it is, and <laughs> some guy made this thing where it's actually Pikachu wearing a sombrero. Which <laughs> 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 put it. I played that. I played that game with a harpy, man. Christ. Um, yeah, then of course it was, it was called um, Project Needle Mouse, which of course uh, Mr. Needle Mouse was the original name for Sonic the Hedgehog. He was a rabbit, I believe. Um, <laughs> it was a whole different game. Um, so for ages, people were like, oh god, what is it? You could have actually called Sonic the Rampant Rabbit. Sonic the Rabbit. Everyone was like, you know, where, you know, what is it? What is it? Is it a game? A lot of people were because obviously it, it, it used the words like 2D. Originally, you know, um, at first some people thought it was just going to be a HD remake of Sonic One, hmm. but the trailer specifically said in an original game built from the ground up, which obviously implies it's not yeah. being built and based rather on any existing uh, game engine. Well, it is based on, but not using the same game engine. But yeah, um, and then um, uh, then, then it, it was revealed mm -hmm. to be um, Sonic Hedgehog 4, which of course, which I, I noticed that the, in a podcast, we did really off to like a year ago, we were talking and, and I said something like, you know what, I'm waiting for Sonic Hedgehog 4, and now I have been vilified. We have Sonic Hedgehog 4 coming out this, this July. Yeah. Um, it's because I had a, a rough, 
life. It's, it's only, you know, we, we've only really known about it properly for a month, few months or so, and really it's had a, it's had a rough, rough old time, as old Sonic 4. Um, <coughs> excuse me, the, there, was, there was a thing called Hedgehog Week. Hmm. And Sega set up using different things like their their Facebook and their Twitter and their official forums where they would be asking the fans questions. Mm. And they said, at the end of the week, we'll give you information. And also, there was this big um, kind of poster with, with, with like, uh, loads of um, character names. And they said, every week, we'll cross every day, we'll cross some names off. And at the end of the week, you will, you will know who's in the game. Yeah. Because obviously, everyone's been saying, you know, we want just, just Sonic playable, just Sonic playable, just Sonic playable. Even though, the, to be fair, since then we. Let me guess. The last two were Sonic and Tails. Well, no, 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 no. no. Well, everyone's complaining about. Oh, we haven't had a just Sonic in a, in a, in ages. Give us, give us just Sonic. Sonic and the Secret Rings. Just Sonic. Mm. Sonic Unleashed. Just Sonic. Sonic Rush Adventure. You can choose to play the game just as Sonic. You don't have to play as Blaze. Mm. Sonic and the Black Knight. There are times where you get to play. Knuckles, Shadow or Blaze, but again, they're completely optional, you don't have to play them. Mm. So all this talk about, I never really understood all this talk about, give us just just Sonic. Mm. Because, you know, there's been a handful of games, just yeah. quite a handful of games where you, you, you can. Just I, think, I, think, I think it's more of having annoying characters in the plot line more than anything else that the fans don't agree with so much. Well, but again, to, to, to um, Unleashed, um, in terms of Sonic characters, you obviously have Sonic, Robotnik, um, Tails and Amy show up in the storyline. Mm. But you don't play all the, the there's a Tails mini game which is kind of pointless to play as. But um, in terms of the story, they kind of serve functions in the story. I have no problem with characters being in the story if they serve a function like um, uh, Sonic 6 has 12 characters. Mm. A lot of them, like Knuckles and Blaze, just serve no purpose in the story whatsoever. They, they right. do virtually nothing worthwhile. Um, yeah, so uh, and at the, at the end of the week, of course, they revealed that it was just Sonic. Although there's one thing, there was a bunch of characters on it. There was like Froggy was a it was a character. Um, like Knuckles, Tails. No, I, I, I don't think Tails and Knuckles are on there. But there was one of them. One of the one of the things was Sonic's new friend, Mr. Little Mouse. Which a lot of people were like, oh, that better not be true, man. And I think I think I think that was Sega kind of. Yeah, having yeah, yeah. having an end joke of the fact that even you know I think they've realised that people are getting annoyed with the fact that they introduce new characters every mm. single game. And of course, it was built to be just just um, so, so, just Sonic Blaine, and they reviewed a bit of concept art, which was a uh, sunflower, I believe. Um, yeah, so, ba based on the based on the uh, sunflowers in Green Hill. Green on, yeah. Um, and uh, as, as as more as more stuff came out, there was a. Uh, you know, a lot of people go. And also, this is this is one of the reasons why I, I dislike this this franchise. Um, they released uh, a, a proper trailer, like showing the game, and they showed maybe three seconds of gameplay footage, yeah. about five seconds of the Sonic running animation. Mm. Just based on that combined six seven seconds, half the fan base it just it sucks. It's terrible. <sighs> Um, so some some things were like something's running animation. It kind of looked like he was having a, a little jog. Mm. He, he didn't look fast, and I, I, you know, I will hold my hands up, and I'd be like, I was one of the people who was like, you know, I, I was like, I, I hope that isn't his final running animation. But if it is, who gives a shit? Yeah. You know, it, it, it don't matter. But people are like, oh, it's terrible. He's so slow. He's, oh no. <laughs> 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 um, and then after that, there was a. Uh, then the, the website came up and stuff, and we saw some more information. Then there was a, they released um, a backstory where they basically explained the the, the plots of, of the last few games. If you go if you go on the forum, find the find the .com and go to Seventh Generation Games, the Sonic Fours, and there's a post by Solus Paradox called Sega needs a competent proofread because it's been it's been fixed now, but for a good few weeks, what the text they had on the site. Mm. Didn't make sense. It was full of grammatical and spelling errors, <laughs> and just did not. It didn't. It just. It. It was seriously like they. They obviously did. They, I was, I they typed it, it once, didn't check it. Well, and no, I, I. I imagine it was written in um in Japanese first. I. You know, it's it kind of like they just took that, put it in Google Translate, and of course, which wouldn't give you a proper translation. Yeah, yeah. It just. But it, it's been fixed now. But that was kind of funny. <laughs> and then um a while ago there was. 
um, the first of what would become many leaks of the game where somebody um, re re somehow uh, someone acquired a demo of the game and recorded them for about a minute playing the first stage Splash Hill Zone Act 1. Yeah. Um, looks fine. You know, I thought it looked fine. Um, it was the, I forget, it was the Alpha or the Beta stage. Yeah. Well, whatever, whatever the first one is. Despite all the um, fans going, oh yes, this is great, this is the best thing ever. Some people going, oh no, it's the, it's terrible, it's rubbish. The fact that we are having so many people worried about getting hold of the rips of these games, and the fact that these are getting leaked, they're getting viewed, people are getting interested, shows that it's probably one of the most anticipated Sonic games in the last decade. Probably not since. <laughs> I just we to say probably not since Unleashed because Unleashed a lot of people are like this is going to be the game that's going to bring the franchise back to its roots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know no, this is going to be the game that's going to bring the franchise back to its roots. But again, a lot, a lot like you, you go in certain places like um, Stadium or TS, TSSZ News or it's like Sonic Retro, and you you hear comments from people like say um, Slingerland on on the Stadium. All they seem to do is just speak negatively about the game and the franchise. Now, obviously, I'm not trying to say you have to love everything about the series, but you you get some fans who are like, "Oh, every game has been been crap since the since the, the Mega Drive games. All the new games suck." At that point, I I would just be like, "If dude, if 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 you hated so much, why are you here?" <laughs> which, which, obviously, you know, I'm not saying that everyone has to be in love with everything. Obviously, if if you dislike certain games, that you know, that you know, everyone, everyone's different. But if, because there are some fans who just hate everything for like the last ten years, I would just be like, why are you, why are you a fan for, man? Why do you waste your time and presumably money playing these things if you get, from the looks of it, absolutely no enjoyment from it? Yeah, I don't, I just, I don't understand. Some it. people just enjoy moaning though. Oh, they like yeah, like the Sonic fans are world class <laughs> bitches. They really are. Um, and all of our uh, faithful. Uh... Oh, no, I'm, I'm not, ironically, <laughs> I'm, you know, I, 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 I don't wish to sound arrogant, but FTCR, we have not had a bit of that. You know, it's I, because I, we're awesome, <laughs> and that's why. Exactly. And I, again, every now and again, you know, there's people on the forum who dislike certain games, who mm. prefer things, you know, over others. Again, I think I'm probably the only person on the um, on the forum who loves Black Knight. Probably everyone else is like, mm -hmm. you know, it's all right, not amazing. Um, but just the level of 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 bitching and just complaining that this game has brought out. Again, it's like I don't uh, I don't understand it. And and it's. It's kind of one of the reasons I think why certain franchises, other franchises, look down on Sonic fans, because we are as obviously not individually, but as a whole, mm. we are just whiny, complaining fan brats. <laughs> unfortunately, I, and it's, it's, it's same to say. Um, obviously, that's not everyone. You know, there are good, there are good fans, but but then you know, there's people who just cry and moan like Tom 64 um, And then, uh, unfortunately, and then from that we got the. Um, uh, the, the the game we as we found out is broken down into four zones with a final zone and a special stage. Special stage is going to play just like Sonic One, the first person. Only this time, you don't control Sonic; you control the stage itself. Trying to like, move it around and stuff. And apparently, the PS3 and the Wii will have um. Also, as, as I say, it's, it's a Sonic Four is a download title coming to uh, the the Wii, PlayStation 3 and Xbox, and uh, Xbox Live, WiiWare and the PlayStation Store I believe it's called. Any word of a PC release? There is a full platform, and when the website first came up I think it was revealed that it was the iPhone, which is going to get it, but I'm not sure if, if Windows will get it, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, um, and so yeah, and, and then it, the entire game ended up getting hacked, uh, it was posted on the website Sonic Retro, which... Uh, it's just, just a sort of retro. Uh, I think it's a member called Infinity. Um, apparently, Xbox Microsoft imposes that Sega had to use this some kind of like uh, developers downloads just to test to see if the game could be downloaded properly or something like that. And uh, I think my you know a bit about that, don't you? Yeah, Microsoft have actually got their own uh, separate test testing platform for they even employ gamers to help test out some beta releases of the games that are going to be released on the Xbox. What Microsoft want is to make sure that the game controls handle well. They were obviously weren't doing their job with Sonic 06, but anyway. Um, well, so Sonic 06 was rushed. That's that's the reason why they yeah. just Microsoft forced Sega to bring that out like a year early. Yeah, but. Um, 
Yeah, they have a, their own separate developer network for um, I believe it's called, testers. I believe it was called PartnerNet or something but, like that. I yeah, don't, I don't or MSDN, Microsoft Developer Network, or Partnet. It's, it's, all, it's, all, it's all part or TechNet. It's all part of the same um, package. Of Microsoft developers helping to um, make the products better, basically. Yeah, so I remember we got that, and at first he just kind of leaked um, Splash Hills on, mm. which is um, or the game that follows three acts, three acts, and then a boss. So te technically four levels per per act. Yeah. Um, also, this is uh, some Hedgehog um, is ep it, episode one. It's going to be ep episodic. So basically, we get episode one, and then it, I think it's been confirmed there's going to be three episodes. Each episode will have four acts and and, and the such. Sweet. So just going back to what you said about the bosses. Um, in the original games, you normally had two levels and a third level which had a boss at the end. Is this three well, complete well, levels and a boss well, yeah, on its own, well, yeah, or is it, it three well, levels and well, another level with a boss at the end? It's like well, Sonic um, One, of course, had three acts. Per zone, and yeah. at the end of Act Three would be a boss, yeah. and then from Sonic Two onwards, it, it was um, two two acts per zone, and then a boss at the end of Act Two. Mm. Sonic Four is going to have three complete leg um, stages, mm. and then a fourth level, which is just a boss fight. Just a boss fight. Yeah, no, just a no boss level fight. fight. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh. Crap. Oh, you, what, was I, what was I talking about? You just confused me there, buddy. Um, <laughs> About the game. Oh yeah, um, it, it was uh, at first it was just Splash Hills on was was leaked, and um, I I, I watched Splash Hills just because just looking from the trailer you knew you, you knew it was going to be a Green Hill slash Emerald Hill zone motif. So mm. I, I looked at it. I looked at it just because it's the first episode. It looks fine, you know. Uh, one clever thing that the the the, the, uh, the first boss you fight. Do you remember in Sonic One the Green Hill zone boss? Yes. With the um born chain. Yeah. It, it's it's him again. Nice. But, but what happens is, is that once you once you like smack him a handful of times, instead of just swinging back and forth, he swings it 360 degrees. <laughs> now again, slight 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 spoiler here in terms of gameplay. One thing is basically it, this game will play like the old uh, Mega Drive games, except they've implemented the homing attack from like SA1, SA2. Okay. The problem with that is is that at the boss I just mentioned, yeah, you can just spam homing attack. And take him out easily. Yeah. Which is well, it's the first level you're supposed to. Oh yeah, we well, obviously as as I've said before, you know, obviously it's the first level, and it's based on possibly the easiest boss fight in human history. Oh yeah, but think about it. If you had, if you were playing the original Sonic One, and you had Robotnik bringing this ball around 360 degrees, screwed. you would be screwed. Exactly. So you need you need to have a bit of advantage, like the homing attack, in order to get to get rid of him. Um, and again, uh, and from that, every every level has been leaked. The ending's been leaked. There's um, a lot of that's a, that's a shame. There's a lot of fan annoyance, but a, a lot of a, a lot of times you would read posts like, "Yeah, I just I just watched um, all, all, all the levels and all the leakage. I can't believe this has happened. What? How, how could? How dare you leak this, you idiot?" And my view is, don't watch it. Yeah, I haven't. I'm not. The only the, I I've only watched I watched Slash Hill Zone, and I just because on the forum. I, I basically I made a post basically saying oh you know the, the home and attack kind of ruins the boss fights far too easy, and um, I think I believe it was Scar Scar mm. against last like, Scar Scar to Terry. He basically said oh um don't don't worry about this check out this boss it's a lot better so I basically I've only seen Splash Hill Zone and one of the other bosses which yes basically there's there's another level of boss I forget which level it is but they they do it in a way because because Robotnik at certain points in the stage he's too high up you can't just spam home and attack yeah which I think I, I think it, it would it works fine for the first level but as long as the other bosses don't require you to just spam home and attack mm. then that's good but yeah it looks good and then um a lot of fan that fan uh, and some fans um, and again, so someone said this on the forum was like, "Oh yeah, well it serves it serves Sega right. It's their own fault for being idiots." And for me, I'm like, "That's that's a retarded point of view." For two reasons. One, it was the Microsoft release, Microsoft, not Sega. Microsoft enforced this. Two, obviously, I don't think Sega, it, it you know, imply it thinks anyone's gonna just you know, leak it, play it and leak it. Three. Over, over the past year or so, Sega have been doing something that not a lot of other developers have been doing, and that's really taking the time to to, to um, like chat with the fans online. Because mm. they've they've done stuff like like say Hedgehog Day, yeah. Hedge Hedgehog Week, which they would, they didn't have to do, you know. But they they got they got all, all the fans together to ask them questions about Sonic, 
and ev everyone got involved. You yeah. know, and it's just again, I'm not, I'm, I'm not trying, trying to say say it's perfect because Lord, we all know that they're not. Well, hell, you know, <laughs> even SA one, SA two, Heroes, Shadow, O six. Well, they're putting the effort in, which all, is what. Which all is of what those games, important. all of those games, could could involve, you know. But again, like the. They're putting the effort since I think you know since 06 was so university hated. Yeah. They've really put in the effort. Well, it seems that they want to make Sonic fall right because it's got a lot to live up to. Bearing in mind it's just basically trying to carry on from one, two, and three. Exactly. Oh, oh, you just reminded me something. The the biggest, one of the most pathetic things uh, I have seen in a long time, long time, was the uh, design of Sonic, which is a uh, excuse me, based on his modern design. So long, long spikes, mm. longer legs, thinner body green eyes mm. the amount of complaining and bitching and and just fans going oh, I can't believe they've used the newer design it's terrible oh uh, well, she looks ugly as that again on the, on the stadium there was uh, one of, I think it was uh, Slingerland again we, we made a big post just about oh how this is terrible and it's it's you know how dare they if, if you really really think about it for over 10 years now They've used this design, mm. the, the the SA1 design, roughly, yeah. yeah. And what? Why would they go back to use a completely, completely different design for? Especially as the old design was 16-bit, anyway. Well, yeah, but also I, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I I think I've always preferred this SA1 design. I've always thought the classic 16-bit was too small and too fat. Mm. Um, and it was just you know people would just and. <laughs> This to, is be fair, to be fair, bearing in mind how you actually play the game, how, are you going to really notice that much? Is it going to be, you know, reasonably small on the screen anyway, with this big level? It, and exactly, you actually, when you're actually playing him, are you going to notice that much? That that that's you know uh, again, it's like who really cares? As long, as long as it plays well, who gives a crap? Well, like say, O six, Sonic has a terrible design in, in that game, right? His his legs are far too long, his hands are too big, you know, his you know just his proportions are all over the place. Mm. But, but does know. he ever had? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. Um, but obviously, like his his character design is the least of the problems with the game. Yeah. Um, and so again, like, I I just I just can't honestly see anyone who would complain about. Obviously, st stuff stuff like bad uh, level design, broken physics, bugs. Mm. Those are things that obviously you complain about. The fact that his eyes are green yeah. instead of black. And there were a bunch of fans got together, and this is possibly the uh, in a, a fandom at its most stupid. Decided to boycott buying Sonic 4, which is fine. Not everyone, not everyone has to buy Sonic 4. If you, if you don't think it looks good, don't buy it. Obviously, same with, with any game. Mm. But to to send a message to Sega mm. on the day of Sonic 4's release, mm. they're not going to buy Sonic 4. They're going to all buy and download Sonic 1. Show Sega, this is what we want. How how exactly will that show anything or anything? It would just okay, be more money. If, if if you want Sonic One, it's there for you. <laughs> Take it, buy it. Again, oh, that's no. what that's why I don't get. Like a lot of these people, kind of what. what, what and that makes no sense. How can you do? If you want, if you love Sonic One so much, then fine, stay with Sonic One. Keep locked up in your room. Stay in your room. Keep playing Sonic One until you die. But. You know, if you don't want anything to change from it, then what are you expecting Sega to do? Release Sonic 1 again to be exactly the same as the old one. Why not just use the old one? Well, exactly, because like, like you you read some of their comments about what they want, and um, it's, it it kind of sounds like they would want a, a 3D something, basically just a 3D remake. But these are the type of fans who, if, if a 3D remake was to come out, they'd be the first to be, oh, it's just a remake, it's terrible, what's going on? <laughs> like, admittedly, I, I I felt when they really started showing stuff about Splash Hill Zone, a part of me, and it, throughout, throughout all the zones really, a part mm. of me was like, um, there's nothing really new here, because yeah, there's, there's, there's four zones, uh, Splash Hill Zone, um, Casino Street, I think, Lost Labyrinth, and Mad Gear, yeah. Splash Hill Zone is essentially Green Hill Zone, Casino Street, Casino Nights, uh, Lost Labyrinth, Labyrinth Zone, and Mad Gear, Scrap Brain Zone. Yeah. So technically, you, you know, like I remember, like when um, Sonic 2 first comes out, there's you know, like Emerald Hill Zone is kind of like Green Hill Zone, 
aquatic marine slightly similar to labyrinth zone and you know um you know so on and so forth so like there's a few zones which mimic previous zones so like mm. carnival nights in sonic 3 obviously casino nights in in sonic 2 but a lot of these games implemented like like a new stage like so say like sonic 3 was the first time we got um, an, an ice level sonic 2 was the first game we got a flying level or a space level so yeah. on, so on and so forth yeah. I, I do admit that Sonic 4 doesn't really offer a new type of level. All the and, and apart from the final zone, which I haven't seen mm. yet, but like the special stage is just like the Sonic 1 special stage. So like there's nothing there. There's nothing necessarily new in terms of level design. It's kind of like they're they're yeah. taking bits and pieces from different bits and kind of revamping it in a way. Of course, which is fine. But the things are you'll get the fans then going back to it and complaining. Oh, why isn't it more like the original? Still. Again, and I think I think slightly this is turning into a bitch fest, but I was complaining about the fans. Yeah, no, I was trying to worry that yeah, as well. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I, I'm not trying to. I, I I hope no I I hope no one listens to this thinking we're just sitting there thinking of slagging off all the fans. No, it's it's just people that moan for the sake of moaning, really. That we just and also we don't really agree with that. Well, sort. No, also the game isn't isn't out yet. Exactly. Exactly. When, when, Save your judgments exactly, until you get when, to play it yourself. When the uh, when the game comes out and people have played it mm. and played it through I will happily accept and read criticisms about why the game's bad why it doesn't work blah 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 blah, blah, blah. you know but until until you've, you've played it I, I can't see how you can justifiably just say oh it's shit, shit it's terrible it sucks yeah especially after like seeing it for six seconds and that's it <laughs> well, well, I mean, well obviously since now the entire game I know, I know, I know more's been leaked but yeah well, the, the, every level and every boss has been leaked online oh well I told I, I told Sonic Movies that the first thing I did was went was go straight to YouTube to try and find some footage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, so, save it for yourself, then you uh, get to experience it firsthand. Exactly. So I think that's pretty much everything about Sonic World. That's um, up in terms of upcoming. Um, again, we're just, just going to be working on on um, the site. Really, we're going to be. Uh, I'm going to be. I think. I think Mikey was going to be talking more to the colder. I'm going to be speaking with Black Hawk Omega to try and get some designs done in terms of what you can expect from us. The next thing we're going to be doing when we're together is we are going to Chaos Emerald Saga of ASTH. So yes, we will be doing the Chaos Emerald Saga. I have to buy that on DVD first. So probably well, that probably won't be too after I come back from America. <laughs> but um, the next thing we're going to be doing is doing an audio commentary on a, on a little series you may have heard of called NASA Unleashed. <laughs> um, we got we I we got I got permission from um, Chaka X or Shaka. I can't I can't pronounce the his, his online handle is like Shaka Chaka X or like that. But I got permission Shocker. from him to do it. He's an awesome guy. So yeah, next time you hear from us, we'll probably be that unless we get to do another um, podcast podcast soon. Which we're, we're going to try and make these more more frequent. Yeah, touch and word. That, touch and word. now that we're working on the site a bit more, we're uh, going to be meeting up a bit more and have the opportunity. Meet to up do a bit more. Bit. But also, also something we we might do is that say if something relevant comes out and say Michael isn't available or myself isn't available. We may uh, you know, occasionally you may hear a special guest that maybe one of us isn't here. Mm. Like, like, like maybe if if having to talk about and say Stephen's around, yeah. then Mike's knee deep in work and won't be ready for like two weeks. <laughs> then you know we'll we'll, we'll call him off that. Yeah. But generally we'll try we'll try and keep it me me and Mikey boy because you know we are we are <laughs> FTCR. But occasionally you probably you might hear podcasts featuring special guests. Yeah, exactly. I think that's about it. I think yeah, that we've been ranting on for a good 53 minutes there. So, uh, the previous podcast, sorry, the preceding podcast may have been suitable for young children <laughs> due to FTA's foul language. Exactly. I, 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 I try to keep it tall for you. That's why we keep the forum, mate. Um, so yeah, that's the end of podcast 07. I need to come up with a, a name for it, but I yeah. think that does quite well. Even though this is 2010, it gives it a bit of a false date, but oh well. It well, should have been out in 07. Well, no, Hawkeye's <laughs> 07, it, this is the 7th one. I know, recording. I know. But, yeah. He was trying to be funny and fair. So anyway, uh, I'm FDA. And I'm Torch. And uh, we'll see you again later. Take care, guys. Deek.